Hello everyone, welcome to a top 5 video, as you know we're only uploading Tuesday and Wednesday this weekend, this weekend, so I just thought, you know what, I might as well do something like this. Fun stuff like lip sync videos, parodies, whatever, have been postponed until uh, Monday, but um, I figured out, you know what, I might as well just do this. Is it Monday or Wednesday? I just can't remember. Anyway, today I'm considering that Star Wars is The Last Jedi is coming out. Um, next week, um, I just thought, you know what, let's go ahead and count down my top five favourite Star Wars, Wars, uh, oh, let's go for these one, my top five favourite Star Wars films. When I say films, I mean literally anything, animated or not animated, whatever. So to be honest, it doesn't matter. Okay, now starting it off with number five. Now, other people may disagree with me, and I'm going to say the Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Reason being I like this one is because it sets up in a way of that if we didn't have Attack of the Clones, we wouldn't have the Clone Wars. Attack of the Clones is set after Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and Attack of the Clones has Obi-Wan Kenobi, young Anakin Skywalker, and also Padme, including introducing a new villain for this one, Count Dooku, and a bit of a teaser for General Grievous in some way, shape, or form. Sidious is also in this one, and it's different stories as of you first, you need to find out who tried to assassinate Padme and killed the other people but then also um, Padme is in danger so she has to go to Naboo and Anakin goes with her as a volunteer but as you see the dark side arranges in her in him also his mother dies in this one and his well when they face Kanduku at the end Anakin gets his arm chopped off and and Obi-Wan gets, well, gets hurt. Hmm. And also Yoda comes in to save the day and that's how it is. So yeah, that's why I like Attack of the Clones is at number five. Number four, Star Wars The Clone Wars, the 2008 film. Now, I only like this for the purpose of the reason I, well, I'm going to say it. When I first saw this film as a young child, I didn't really enjoy it. I just thought this film was quite boring in a way. And so I understand Star Wars, but I didn't really understand the characters. But then when I looked into IMDb and saw that Samuel L. Jackson and the original voice actors of Count Dooku did this, then that was just amazing that was, because it's kind of like... Wow, like something that you would never expect from a film like this, and this started up the TV series of The Clone Wars, so I just feel like that's one of the reasons why I like it. It has certain references from the films and the films to come, but in a way this is just a beginner. Number three, Star Wars, The Revenge of the Sith. Now, in a way, I don't really agree with how certain things went. I do feel like how the fans said it, of how they should have got what they wanted. I feel like they should have been there. I feel like it's either Yoda or Yoda and Obi-Wan go and stop one bad guy instead of another, instead of like, splitting up. This one is taking place of how Anakin turns to the dark side, and by the end of it, you see him as Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine being his, well, Emperor Palpatine and looking more like an Emperor and Darth Sidious. This is the one where Order 66 
comes by and they kill quite a lot of clones that's sort of this is kind of like the turn from the dark side from well from Anakin from him being a bit of a light hearted dickhead to being just a just a murderer from the Jedi and there's also without this film again we wouldn't have Star Wars Webbles but in a way I quite like this and if you want to see an, an alternate ending from how um, instead of Obi-Wan chopping Anakin's limbs off if you buy the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith video game you get an alternate ending of how it would have gone for those last couple of seconds of how if Anakin jumped a bit more higher to get behind Obi-Wan and kill him yeah he actually had the strength to do that which is not the canon ending the film is the canon so I just thought I should mention it Number two, Star Wars The Return of the Jedi. Now, I could have had Emperor Strikes Back or The New Hope, but I wanted to put this one in as if I feel like this is kind of like where we get to see the war ending. And even though Battlefront 2 has shown us that the war really did end until like the next couple of months, this is where at the moment where it's starting to end. As uh, sort of between the Death Star being exploded and all of those other things happening on Endor between that and the next coming months it's like they come back together for to Endor and just party and you see all those Jedi's now this is kind of like the film where you get to see Luke Skywalk improving as a Jedi to be something as he was in the last film to now as of being a, just a Jedi master as of he was trained by Yoda I think a bit by Obi-Wan Kenobi now Yoda dies in this one as of he's lived so many years and it's nice to see him die peacefully as of Obi-Wan Kenobi well he as we know died by died by Darth Vader but he in a way he will still be there as of the force will be with you always and if you didn't know Luke Skywalker defeats Darth Vader and Sidious and Anakin Skywalker returns and Darth Vader dies so, in a way, it's a good film. Number one, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, you could say Rogue One was better, but I wanted to put Rogue One in there, but it's five, not six. Force Awakens is after every film, every Battlefront 2 happening, whatever. We get to see a new set of characters as of this one. We get to introduce the character of Wei, Finn, Captain Phasma, Kylo Wen, Snoke and all those other people and we get to know that Luke is missing and including Han Solo and Chewbacca is back and all those other fantastic characters. Now a bit of a spoiler that Kylo Wen is the son of Han is the son to Han Solo and also Leia. So unfortunately in this one, because Kylo Ren is dark side, Han Solo is dead. He is just dead. He is. Now, we get to see how Wei uses the Force in this and how he fights with a lightsaber, which is good. There's many theories being that it's Wei a Skywalker. Is he a Kenobi? Is he a Binks? Is he a an... whatever? But I hope we get to see these answers answered in The Last Jedi because that's what I really want to do, I really want to see. And I do feel like this film is good and in a way that you should go and see it before The Last Jedi comes out. You can't tell it's early in the morning I'm really tired. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as I just said, video is today, Wednesday and Saturday, Sunday. And then when we come back next week, there will be Christmas videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.